Okay, we need to talk about the geometry guide that y'all are going to be building. So you're going to need three things to get started on this. You're going to need your internet open. Um, I just start with Google because I Google everything. You're going to need your uh, Canvas open and you're going to need to go to your intermolecular forces lab module, which is pretty much empty right now, but will be filled with stuff and you need to go to geometry pictures. This is going to be where all of your geometry pictures are that you're going to need to know. Broken up into two groups, electron electronic geometry and molecular geometry. So when the instructions tell you to put it in a certain spot, there's a difference between electronic and molecular. First, you need to understand that electronic geometry is just an electronic domain, whether it's a lone pair of electrons or it has a bonding pair. So look at your molecular geometry and those are going to be the geometry of the atoms in space and doesn't count lone pairs. Okay, Lone pairs will affect the shape but they're invisible. You can't really see them if you were looking at them. You're going to need Microsoft Office whether you're using the app or the desktop version. I'm actually going to go through this and show you all with the app version because it's actually, for this, very easy to use. So if you've never used the app version, you just need to Google Microsoft 365 and click on the login. Now I'm already logged in, so it has um, everything already sent to me. But if you want to log in, you need to use your school uh, net ID and password, and it'll take you to a uh, two-factor authentication, and you can um, do it. So you need to open Word, and you need to put a new blank document and you're gonna need to have a table so for you it tells you your table needs to be um, five columns and 14 rows and boom okay now you're gonna have to label these um, with what it tells you and that's row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4, row 5, and so on. Because at some point, it's going to tell you you need to merge cells or put something in the proper headings. Okay, so very easy to deal with. So I just want to show you a couple of things. I want to show you how to merge cells, and I want to show you how to insert your images and adjust your images. So when you're going through the FET simulation, and let's go ahead and just uh, Google where to find it. You want chemistry simulations? And you want molecular shapes. Not this one. You don't want basics. You want that full-on molecular shapes. Don't click on anything but the play button. And I'm using Google Chrome and on a Mac, but it's going to look the same as if you're on a Windows or a Mac. The simulation is the same. So it's going to load up. It's going to default in model and you do want model to start out. In your lab manual it says click on the hamburger icon which is three stacked lines but they redid the simulation so now it's three dots on top of each other which is the equivalent of the hamburger icon and click options and projector mode. And then go ahead and start it up. And this is going to be the default thing that it gives to you. So your instructions in different places are going to tell you to add things, get rid of things. So the first thing that it wants you to do is it wants you to pop on two lone pairs. And to add anything, you just click on it and it'll add. And then down here at the bottom left, you can have it view uh, molecular geometry and electron geometry. So if I pop different things on there, you can see that it's going to change the molecular geometry and the, uh, the electron and the molecular geometry. So pay attention to that down there. You can also show bond angles um, if you want to when you have more than one. <laughs> you actually have to have more than one atom to be able to show a bond angle, okay? Because bond angles are between atoms, not lone pairs of electrons. So I want to go back. This is the first thing that you're supposed to show in your 
in your user guide that you're building. So your pictures are here and this is the one that we just built. This is the one we're looking for. So right click and you can copy the image and paste it straight into Word. So when you try to paste with your normal, you know, copy paste, your browsers, well, I don't know if it's a Chrome thing, but for Chrome, for sure, you actually have to use the shortcuts, okay? So click on whichever square you want to put the image in. And for Windows, you're going to control V. If you're a Mac, you're going to hit command V, okay? Now, when you click on this picture, it could uh, paste and be really big, it could be really small, but you want to adjust the size. And so it tells you in your guide that you need to adjust it to five. So just click on that, click on that, and it's going to adjust it. Now, if you want to do an adjustment without clicking both, you can click this button called Lock Aspect Ratio. And what happens is if you click one, it automatically click uh, move the other one so that the actual proportion of your picture stays the same. So that's actually pretty cool and pretty useful. So you'll have your headings up here. At some point, it's going to tell you to merge cells. So if you're merging cells, you just click on it and highlight it, right click and merge cells. Okay, so you can you can merge as many cells as, as it tells you to, but you're going to need to um, merge your cells. Okay, so I'm not going to take you through the entire thing. I just wanted to show you the basics so you can get going. Now, when you're saving this, because you're doing a file upload, I'm fine if you upload a, a doc version or a PDF version. Um, I, I like PDFs. They're actually a little better. I like them. Just save as. And save a copy. Save it to whatever folder you want, but make sure you put it someplace where you're actually going to be able um, to find it. Okay. So if you're using the desktop version, it's going to be exactly the same, except I would not copy and paste the pictures because it could put it on a black background and it'll look terrible. So in this instance, I think y'all are probably better off using the app version. Okay, so that's the basics. Follow the directions and um, play with it and, and, and do what it says. Okay, y'all have fun. And remember, you can use this guide to study